Hi guys, ShinyMess101 here, and here's my unboxing of, well, uh, Transformers Fall of Cybertron. Um, I would definitely say is that uh, I tried some stuff towards this, and also this is a update unboxing slash pickups video before unboxes. Well, all you know is that um, in, my, in my pickups video, I showed you guys Fall of Cybertron. I just realized that Starscream was there on the case. And, uh, well, I still need to beat Fall of Cyber the War for Cybertron, but I decided to pick up this since, you know, I got it for a good deal, and I wanted to get it same thing with me getting the, uh, both of the Arkham games since I'm, when I'm done Fall of S War for Cybertron, War for Cybertron, I can play this, but before I, well, you know what? I'm gonna unbox the game now, then and show you what I recently picked up over the past few weeks or a month or so. And here's the front. Well, the uh, slip case. You see Metroplex, Optimus, Bumblebee, and Grimlock. Yeah, it's kind of great. So to see uh, Grimlock playable in this. Here's the spine. The stuff that it connects with PlayStation Network. The epic Transformer story we've been waiting for. Play the quote from from the official PlayStation magazine and an E3 2012 Best of Show winner. And I'm gonna see what it says. An epic battle for survival. The darkest towers are upon you in a villain vigilant clash to survive the final days of Cybertron. Thousands of Options to customize the very own Transformers character within an exclusive multiplayer, extensive multiplayer mode, and it shows the green jots. Grimlock's just being Grimlock, and I think that's a uh, Bruticus, I think. And the features. Sorry about that guys, just wanted to take it out of the sick place. I think I should have took it out in the first place and it says the same stuff here. And I'd have to say I'm looking forward to play this. But I'm looking forward to playing this. Um I got Fall of Cybertron well I also got the first one for a good deal. In the back it shows I just wanted to show this, uh to get it over it on the back it shows the original generation one series and I have to say I grew up with Beast Wars but I do have to say is that I did see the movie I actually don't I actually own it on DVD well the 20th and the first we want on controls for the vehicle modes and well I mean you can't forget Grimlock and I might get probably get the multiplayer pack soon and the manual Bumblebee the items and the multiplayer and the classes. Another here's another picture of Grimlock. The customer support and that's about it. The disc. Is not that surprising. I mean I should probably see what it shows in the figure can't really oh never mind that's Cybertron and before I end the video off great to have these games for my PS3 collection and on to the uh, pickups and I got to the past few months Resident Evil Revelations I got this for a good deal I picked it up I played the demo of it I liked it and I eventually got the game I don't need to show Monster Hunter since you guys already know in my Shemagami Tensei 4 unboxing that I picked up that. Sonic Souls Genesis Collection, a really great game. I was originally going to get the Mega Collection Plus since mine doesn't work, but got this instead. Well, a friend gave it to me. The Ratchet and Clank Collection. I own, I did own up your arsenal and I only played the one out of the three so I decided I got this for another great price 
I decided, you know what, I'll just get the collection instead of me getting the eventual games on the PS2. Ultimate vs. Capcom 3, well, just want to show that later. Borderlands Game of the Year, I heard viewers from a copy of Borderlands, I traded that in and traded some stuff towards in this. They had it there uh, at my local game store. Um, it's complete. It shows the map. Well, it's the map and everything, which is great. Can't wait to play this. I didn't even. I mean, I played some of this. Besides game of the year, I need to put the DLC and everything on. Like I said, can't wait to play this. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Uh, got this. Um, for well, I mean, got it for 30 bucks. A friend lent me a his uh, ten dollar EV gift card and I just wanted to say I was looking for this game anywhere I seen it and thanks to my friend PJ he helped me pay for this and I paid him back and I'm just saying this is that uh, I have lended I had lended this off of Daryl and I'd have to say this is one of my favorite fighting games besides Blaze Blue and that's an open brawl and uh for comics, I picked up Sonic Universe number 55, uh, Pirate Plunder Panic, which is the event after the crossover. And, uh, but I have to say it's like, I mean, I see Mega Beatman's review. I have to say, let's hope that it gets more into detail since with the whole thing with the crossover, I don't want to spoil it for anybody. My dad says, says that I seen, well, it's the variant. Uh, that's my phone. Uh, I know it's this, the, love to say is that I seen the preview pages for, um, 252, and I do have to say I'm confused with a lot of other people, but when that comes out, I guess, we all, we all, it will clear some things. Same with the countdown to chaos. Uh, story arc that's happening after it. I think that's what it's called. So I guess that's the end of my unboxing. So, and also, uh, before I end the video, I just want to say is that, uh, sorry for not uploading Epic Mickey episode 9. I'll, I will hope to upload this before Epic Mickey 2. Even when Anoya, you asked, said about this Shimagum Tensei 4 unboxing a lot. I need to record more things. People have been renovating on my house and uh, I didn't get a lot of time to recording so probably sometime in the next few days I might record and well I might record a 3DS XL video test since you know like well Matt and I well Nerdinator and I got a 3DS XLs and that's the end of my uh, video so see you guys in more parts of the epic mickey birth by sleep blah 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 my unboxings and pretty much that's it so see you guys then